All right, guys, things have changed a wee bit. So I might be going in three weeks to Canada to compete in Mag Magnus Ver's um, qualifier competitions for Matos Classic. So he's inviting two Icelandic uh, strongmen to compete there and flights and, you know, uh, hotel or wh wherever we're staying, like taken care of. So that's just like a free, a free adventure, free travel. Um, I just need to compete and it's pretty good events for me. Um, so I think I'm gonna do it. I just sent Magnus that I'm, I'm available and I'm gonna send, um, ask my job to get some time off for, for the trip because it's my work week. So, uh, uh, that is exciting, exciting guys. So, but it's, uh, uh, <laughs> drop my phone. Um, it's, it's the week before Iceland's Strongest Man. So, you know, at first I was just like, you know, but, um, you know, Magnus is so kind to us. He does so much for us. And, and, you know, I just, and I just thought like, if, if Tom Stoltman and Luke Stoltman can go and compete in Britain's Strongest Man, do that wonderfully, at least Tom, and then go a week later, the next weekend to the Arnold Strongman Classic, like the heaviest competition in the world, I should be able to do it with just normal competitions, you know, but you know, you know. <clears throat> frankly, you know, and it's just exciting. I think, you know, it's just gonna be good for my career. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, my first, first time traveling to another country to compete, it's just, it's only exciting. But, um, so for now I'm going to the gym and I'll see you guys there. I'm gonna fill you in a little bit later. All right, so today I am gonna train squats, plaza. I'm training squats because we don't know yet the, the events for Iceland Strongest Man, and, but we've been told it's similar to last year. And last year we had a squat, an actual axle squat, 240 kilograms and 300 kilograms. So I'm training that now until I know more. Um, yeah, maybe some Atlas stones afterwards. That was a great set. Two hundred for four reps. I'm changing it to two ten for four reps. First time I'm wrapping my knees in almost a year, I think.
That set felt excellent. Two ten, two two hundred ten kilograms for four reps is nothing right now. So we're gonna do one more set, and then I might be going over to these boys. <laughs> That was fantastic. I haven't squatted in like a regular squat. Eight weeks, I think, or more. Oh, it's just nice. So it's time for stones. I'm not putting any extra tacky on me. Just getting some motion, like feeling it out. Right now I'm gonna do these two stones like sort of as fast as I can, just one motion, whatever. I should be able to go faster than that. Too much time spent 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 setting up and you know, like getting myself ready. I just need to grip them as soon as I touch them. So I'm gonna try that now. I knew I could do it a little bit faster, but I need to. I need to train more now. Train like sitting with the stone. It's like, I'm so unused to it. I'm so, so used to one motioning all the time. So I'm gonna train some sitting with the stone.
That's Atlas stones done. I think this is 140 kilograms, I believe. 140, 50, 60, 70. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do something more. I'm trying to decide what what would be a good accessory. All right, so I just, I just remembered there's gonna be a sand back throw medley at, in Canada, in Gimli. So here we have the bags and I'm gonna train it. That was a nice set. First set, uh, like the first attempt was just like, yeah, <laughs> just didn't. I released it too quickly, but then I just amended it and had a good set. I'm gonna do two more. This is a really good event for me. In any case, whether we're using kegs or bags. So I'm a, lot, I'm a bit more confident though when I use kegs. This just feel more natural to me, but I'm always getting better. This has been a long ass workout, guys. I've been here for almost three hours. Teddy, what are you doing? It was terrible. Do better next time. That is the workout done. I am done. I need to refeed. I need to eat. I'm out of here. Du, 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 du. BK chicken. It's time to get some chicken food. Oh. Well, would you look at that? chicken burger mm, it's gonna be delicious i just slaughtered that burger and fries and i'm still pretty hungry so i'm drinking a liter of ab milk and guess i am going to the pool to do some hot and cold why teddy do you just do the same thing every day train and then do some hot and cold yes that is all i do <laughs> No, but honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this opportunity by competing in uh, Gimli, Manitoba in Canada. It's going to be um, so much fun and I can't wait. It's my first competition in another country. And, you know, it's, yeah, I just sent Magnus, Magnus Ver, my passport photo. And, but it's funny, never in my life have I gone to Canada. But now I am going to be traveling there twice within the same month, within the same 30 days. It's crazy. <laughs> First I'm going to compete and then I'm going to Vancouver for a secret mission. <laughs> it's about a um, cat's behave. Prugo. <laughs> um, anywho guys, I think I'm gonna... So guys, my phone was giving me a bunch of trouble, it wouldn't let me film and then wouldn't record the audio. So here's the clip of me and Drogo saying goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe, like the video. And look at my boy Drogo. He's so cute. Oh, <laughs> he's so adorable. Goodbye, guys.